Hey guys, okay, welcome back to part two of my painting tutorial. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint up the skirt again. We're gonna highlight up the skirt, so you should have already highlighted back up to mech right red. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some extra fine highlighting on the raised areas. And the first color we're gonna use is blood red. into the paint and then into some water and then I put onto my painting palette over here. It's just basically the clamshell that came with the model. Where did I put it? Okay, there. So now I'm just going to look at areas that I want the eye to be drawn to. To your discretion how much you want to paint. The thing with highlighting reds though is that you don't want it to look pink because then it'll blend too much with the pink areas of the model. So we're going for more of an... more of a kind of bleached bone kind of color. It's a little bit more yellowish bone white rather than white red which is pink. are having a party. There you go, so that's pretty nice. So now I'm gonna get to work on the front. Okay, 
And I'm also going to be hitting up her red sleeves. So I gotta get a camera that focuses automatically. I'm going kind of crazy having to keep looking up to check my focus. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna use the red for is the blood in the chalice. So the blood is actually spilling over. So you wanna hit all of that. And then I'm creating Kind of like a sweeping motion. So I'm leaving the mech right red up at the top and really focusing on where on where the light hits the blood over here on the sides. Pretty, they're pretty hardcore with these with these highlights. So you notice that when you're mixing in your bleached bone, it doesn't come out as light pink. It has more of a uh, more of a yellowish tinge to it, which is kind of what we want. If you feel like you want to go back and. On, you'll be able to tell. I just double check my time. Okay, I've got about two more minutes before I'm gonna have to cut off. So let's start with here. You want to basically stick to the raised areas again, and this time you're gonna be really mindful about only painting more in single strokes to highlight rather than blending as much you you want the highlight to stick out. So like here on the lip of this cloth. This isn't even going to be the final highlight. The final highlight is actually going to be straight bleached bone because it'll give you that really gorgeous nice looking yellow. But this is a good mid-color. Single stroke, single stroke. And then just blend the top of the stroke and the bottom. Bone is just too much of 
a crazy transitional color or a crazy highlight color but because you took the time to put these transitional colors in it's going to look a lot better so i started painting on the bleach bone highlights just to make sure that it's kind of what i wanted and you can see my finished results here i'm going to do a couple more in real time but you can kind of see how it creates a contrast from the deep folds of the skirt all the way to like the lightest areas and you kind of want to mainly stick to the rips and the tears at the bottom of the skirt but also on the lines that come up the most so you want to find vertical lines that you can emphasize like that you want to stick to the bottom as well like this and a little bit more paint on my palette. I can show you. It's, it's always best to get as much of the paint off of your brush as possible while still having a little bit right at the tip because you want brush control. You want control of the paint. You want to control where the paint goes. So let me see if I can turn it. I'm going to focus on the bottom of the skirt. Just like that, right where the rips are. Then along the bottom. Just like that. does it a different way if you feel like you have a technique that is really awesome and works for you then by all means let me know but I found that you know it's kind of jarring at first right to see this color that's not really in the um the, the blend that you're adding almost like out of left field but once you see it and you step back and you take a look at it it looks really nice. Just want to make sure that you've got a good blend and that you work in single lines as much as possible. You're letting the viewer's imagination really do all the work. or how little you do for these folds at the top what I do is I just turn my brush to the side and do like vertical strokes just to get the paint on the side a little bit off it's kind of like dusting almost there and I'm gonna back out so I can see the full effect of it see look at all that we just did using Commando Khaki as our highlight color and we're going to start highlighting up the or, uh, Commando Khaki not bleached bone we're gonna highlight up the black so you want one part black to two parts Commando Khaki you'll notice that I'm not going in grays because if I went like with the codex gray then it would be it would end up looking like I just mixed white with black. With Commando Khaki, we're gonna get a more creamy yellowish tone that's gonna tie in a lot to the skirt. So even though the mixing colors are different, black and red, the effect is gonna tie in a lot more closely. You almost wanna go like three parts Commando Khaki to one part Chaos Black. So you're still going to get a dark gray, but it's just going to have 
a little bit more of a lightness to it. So now we're looking at highlighting the ridges of the armor, but we're also highlighting like most of the raised areas. All you have to worry about is keeping the recesses really dark. Because once we get to the extreme edge highlighting, which you Space Marines players will know all about, then that is going to be a bright, stark, bleached bone to stand out. So you want to be able to see where the lines are. Otherwise, the armor is going to look pretty, pretty similar. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to paint the corset in vertical strokes. Just single ones, swiping off the paint. Being extra careful here at the top not to get any paint on her lady parts. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. So we're really painting almost everything except for the extreme recesses, keeping the dark in there. So now we're going on to these bat things in the back. gray tone to your gray but like I said with that yellowish overtone to it now we're gonna focus mainly on hitting the, the spines and the tops of the spines that the light would hit the most so like you see I just painted the tops of knee pad and not going all the way down and just hitting the tops, hitting the tops, hitting the top of the leg armor and I'm only going to touch the, the center of the spine for the leg armor at the bottom. For the top I'm going to be hitting the bottom of this top part of her corset I'm just hitting like the bottom parts of the spikes or the spines in the armor because that is where the light to me would play the most off of. So I'm really focusing on the bottom because that's where we're gonna building, be building our highlights. And then for the shoulder armor, I'm gonna be hitting all the spine. because It's very prominent, so the light would be hitting all of it. Focusing most of it towards the center though, because the light would be glinting off of the center and reflecting off to the side in my, in my world. If you're building your model with light highlighting off your model from a different angle, then like say from the upper right shining down to the bottom left, then you might paint your highlights differently. The important thing is now that we're adding more of the highlight color commando khaki, we want to be aware of where our highlights are going to end up. Oh, focus, 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 focus,
focus, focus, focus. Okay. So, the last color we're gonna add once I paint the little bat flaps in the back of her wig is we're gonna add even more commando khaki. So that there's only a little bit of black in the mixture. It should be almost completely commando khaki at this point, at this stage. Okay, so I had to turn the model at all these fun funky angles, so I, I just did the highlights off camera, but as you can see, I really stuck to these, to the spines. And I did end up using a little bit of bleached bone for the extreme highlights, like here in the center of her shoulder pad. You see I've put just really fine lines of bleached bone in the center because it really makes it look like the light is popping off of it. And there's her, her bat flap. All right, so after the highlighting of the armor, we're going to move on to highlighting up her cloak. And to do that, we need Actually, we might as well do the flowers at the same time. So remember, these were Gretchen green flowers. Or not flowers, but the, the little leaf blooms around the blossoms of the roses. So I'm just going to go in and clean them up. Some of them got a little, a little bit of red on them, like this one over here. Just going to do a little touch up on these because we're going to wash them and highlight these up in just a little while okay <clears throat> so while we wait for that to dry we're gonna highlight the cloak back up with our cloak color which was Kemri Brown and this is gonna be first we're gonna be highlighting the the brightest areas and then we're gonna touch up with with commando khaki and finally bleached bone but you can see that the devlin wood my mud wash what mosh the devlin mud wash made the cloak look really shiny give it a really glossy finish so we're going to be taking that gloss off now oh, there's way too much paint on my brush I loaded it up too much. You'll notice that when you load your brush up with too much paint, it's a lot harder to control the paint flow. So some people are just so, or like sometimes, even I am just so impatient like now that I just wanna get the paint on. So I don't wipe the majority off, but it's always better to, to wipe off the majority of your paint when you work and just go with what you can control. So there's always usually more paint in the pot. Yeah, so as you can see, I've decided to leave the, the, the wash really only in the deepest folds of the outside. On the inside, it's gonna be a lot more controlled and um, the, the watch is gonna stay more in the shadows. So you can see I'm only bringing out the color here on the side. says that it's uploaded and it's processing and I, I watched it from my video manager but like it doesn't show up on my playlist so it's somewhere it's on YouTube 
just wished I had thought to play it before I erased all the clips, because now I can't save it over in my final cut. As you see, like I really like Bleached Bone and Commando Khaki as highlighting colors. I think they're a lot softer, they're not as harsh as white. As a highlight color, white is really, really conditional, I think. You really want to be careful how much you use white because it tends to just wash out most colors, especially like reds and like like the primary colors and stuff, they tends to wash them out rather than highlight them. My opinion. Okay, so we're gonna add some bleached bone now. mix of Kemri Brown and Commando Khaki. I guess we're gonna be a little bit a little bit more conservative with where we paint. So just like the skirt I'm doing lots of single strokes. Catching the the hems, and the edges. That's not what I was going for, but I'm going to keep it, and I'm just going to adjust around it. Such a simple part of the model. this long. <laughs> Um, fade. So 
I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna sleep on it. And then I'll come back and what I might do is uh, give it a give it a wash. And the wash will tie it down. Whereas uh, afterwards, which I can do these fine edge highlightings again. Oh, sorry. So you see I'm just swiping the edges of the inside of the cloak. This is kind of the effect that I was going for. With the outside, I just went a little overboard with it. There. Okay, so I think maybe I'm gonna make a third part. I'm gonna cut this video off now. In the third part, we'll do, we'll highlight the metallics, we'll finish the blood in the chalice, we'll give her some makeup, and then we'll send her to the prom. So we'll see you in the third part of the video.